ever wondered how to add products like an order bump and an OTO to a funnel? Well, in this video, I'm going to break it down for you. My name is Pamela Dale, your GHL gal. Let's open up the editor and get started. Okay, so I've got an SLO funnel here in front of me. You can see there's a two-step sales page, there's an OTO page, and an order confirmation. First page, the sales page, the order form is in the pop-up. So we want to add a minimum of three products, right? So let's take a look at how to do that. You need to go to the payment screen and then over to products and add those in first. Of course, you need to be connected to Stripe, so you would check here under integrations and ensure that Stripe is connected. You can also enable Google and Auto uh, Apple Pay as well, if you'd like. Okay, so let's go to products and let's create our products. So I'm going to create a new product, and this one is going to be my first sale. But let's put product, product number one. And then you always need a description, so I just copy it down. Always remember... Everything's client facing, so it's very important to remember that as you're going. This is your statement descriptor. And then you're able to have this in an SLO funnel at a certain price. So I'm going to put product number one, price number one, just for the sake of this training. But that is what's going to show up on our order form. So this is going to be $97. And I can either choose it to be one time or recurring. If I choose recurring, then I would choose when, monthly, yearly, etc. And then under additional options, I can see my price description. So I'm able to say that this is my SLO funnel uh, price, right? Because especially when it comes to OTOs, the OTO would have an OTO price and then it would have a price after, but it's the same product, right? So then if you'd like a trial period a number of payments and if it's got a setup fee and also... If it is a membership offer, you would choose what offer that would be. If you do not have an offer, it means that the product in the membership area has not been turned into an offer. So then we can go ahead and turn this off for now and create this product. So now I have product number one. Next, I'm going to create my order bump, number one. And you do need to create them here first before you could ever add them into the funnel. So we'll just go ahead and add them all in. And this one is going to be a 47. It's going to be a one time. And there's a price description is here as well. And if it's a membership offer, you would go ahead and do that. Excellent. So created that one and then create the next one. This is going to be my OTO number one. And this one can be a digital good as well. And my description needs to be longer. And then this one here, usually OTO is $97. And that's a one-time charge as well. So let's go ahead and create this product. Then let's just jump quickly over to sites and let's go to membership products here. This is a training account. I'm not even sure if I've got one in here. I do. Okay, so excellent. Let's go to offers. I don't have any offers. Do I have any drafts? No. So I'm going to create a new offer and this is going to be offer number one and I can choose the product and this price could be different than the other. This is what's going to show up on the membership area. So then I need to be sure I can add another product in if I'd like to make the offer a little bit bulkier and I'm going to turn it to published and I'm going to click save. So now when I come back to payments, if I come to my product and this OTO I click on it and I can edit it. And here I can say what the membership offer is and this is gonna be offer number one and I can update that price. Perfect, okay, so now let's go to the funnel and we've got an SLO funnel and the first thing we're going to do on the sales page is we're gonna go here on the right hand side to products and we're gonna add a new product. So if it doesn't show up here, it's because you haven't added it in under the payments first. So this is product number one. I'm gonna choose the price for this one and then I could overwrite that on the sales page. I could say something, you know, special offer, et cetera. And then here's where I can also add in multiple quantities if I like. And if it is a recurring charge, then this custom authorization needs to be here. If it's not, it's going to charge the full price of what it is 
If it's 97, it's going to charge 97 twice. It's going to off and then it's going to charge for it and then it's going to return the auth. So know that that's there and I'm going to put a dollar. I'm going to click save. Next, I'm going to, on the same page, the sales page, I'm going to add my order bump. So I've got an order bump number one. This is my price for that. And then here, I'm going to click that this is a bump product. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Next, I'm going to go to the OTO page and I'm going to add the OTO in. Same thing. And then the price. And then here, don't need this unless it's multiple, right? And go ahead and hit save. But now we need to go into the funnel. Let's click on the funnel. And then we're going to go into the pop-up and we're going to click on the order form. So I'm going to click on the order form so that my settings for my order form are over here. And I'm going to be sure that everything looks good. I'm going to click on advanced and I'm going to scroll down. So this one here, I need to enable my order bump. If I added in cart mode, meaning there were 10 products available, make sure that this is toggled on. And then I'm going to add my order bump. I'm going to select the product. And then I'm going to just type in something for my headline, my OTO, etc. And then I'm also able to add in an image. I can click on something here. Let's just click on this one for now. And then I can follow the rest of this as you would need for your your funnel, etc. And we're going to be sure that we click save. So now my products on here and my order bump is on here. We'll test it in a minute. Next, we're going to go to the OTO. There's a trick here for the OTO. So on the OTO page, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. On an OTO page, there is a yes button and a no button. So on the yes button, my design has got this tucked in behind. I'm going to click on this. And this one is the yes. So then I need to, under the button actions, I'm going to link it to the one-click upsell and downsell. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the product. And then where do I want it to go? If this was book an extra call, something like that, you could go to another step or a website URL as well. So I'm going to go to the next step on this because there is no other um, like OTO or anything else. So we're just going to go to the next step. But then there's one more button here. Now I reverse out the button color on this one, but it is still a button. And this one is my no thank you button. And this one is going to go to the next step automatically. So this one will add it to whatever product you've got. It will add it to the order. And this one will go to the next step. You're going to be sure that you click save. Next, what you can do is you can go ahead and put your funnel in test mode and go ahead and test your order bump, etc. You'll come here to settings and you're gonna turn it to test mode and then you're going to click save. On the order form, you will enter in the credit card number 4242, 4242-4242. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and test it. And there it is there. So you can get rid of that with some CSS and stuff like that. So you can go ahead and add that. There's my 97, my 47, tells me I'm in test mode and you're off and running. And go ahead and type in four two. And then this would be any date in the future. And then any three digit code and I can complete that order. And then there's my one time order. I can go yes, add that to my order. And it'll take me to my order confirmation page. And there is my 97, 47 and 97. Perfect.